Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to live stream from an HDMI input from a video camera or really any HDMI source. So let's go over the different materials that you'll need. First, you'll need an HDMI cable. And then with the HDMI cable, you'll need an HDMI adapter that allows your computer to read the HDMI source. Uh, there's a USB port that came with the HDMI source. I'll put the link to that in the description. And uh, a computer. This is a Surface Pro, but any laptop is fine. And I'm using a video camera. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is plug in the HDMI to the video camera. My video camera has a normal HDMI output. Yours probably has a mini HDMI. Uh, you can get an HDMI, a mini HDMI to a normal HDMI adapter online for very cheap. Uh, next thing is we plug the HDMI into the converter box. And once again, I'm going to link this in the description. And then I'm going to plug the USB into the air sign and plug that directly into my computer. And now once it's all set up, we're going to open up OBS. I'm going to link OBS in the description, but OBS is open broadcasting software. It is a totally free application. Uh, you don't have to pay for any of it. Uh, most streamers on the internet use OBS uh, just because it's so easy to use. Anyway, it's fast, free, and easy, so go ahead and just download it really quick. And it's really quick to set up. We're going to create a new scene. I'm going to add a new scene here. I'm just going to call it Test. And now that we have a new scene, we need a source. So we're going to open up a video capture device source, and you're going to create a new one. I'm just going to call it video, cap video capture device 2 because I already have an existing one. Um, and then once it's open, you have to select the USB capture HDMI device from the drop down menu. And now you can see, you can actually see what's on my camera. So now that we have a direct line from the video camera to the computer, uh, we can click OK. Uh, but you'll notice that sometimes the audio doesn't work. So we're going to add a new source. We're going to add audio input capture device. And we're just going to click that same HDMI USB capture device. And now you'll see, if you have audio in the camera, you'll see that you actually have audio levels now. So I'm snapping my fingers and you can see those audio bars bouncing up and down as I snap my fingers. Uh, sometimes the audio is only placed on one channel. And if the audio is placed on one channel, uh, then you'll just have to click and uh, make it a stereo and mix all of your inputs into one stereo. So now go ahead and click settings and go to your stream menu and you'll need a stream key. So go ahead and go to YouTube, go to your YouTube studio and click create and then go live. And then once it opens, uh, it'll select webcam. Go ahead and click stream in the top right and I'm gonna type in test stream as my title. Test is my description. You can select a uh, type of video it is and then uh, once you click OK, you'll go to Manage, and then you'll see you'll have a stream key there. It's all dots, and then you just click Copy, and then you paste them right here into where it asks for the stream key and what service you want to use. Where we're using YouTube. And when you're done, you just click Start Streaming. And then it usually takes 30 to 60 seconds, but once you click Start Streaming, it will pop up. And now you can see that we have the stream going in my video camera, my capture software, and on YouTube Studio. So all three things are working well. And uh, anyway, I hope this helped you out in your current and future projects. Look for the links in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.